In Cyberpunk 2077, there are dozens of legendary weapons to be found. But if you're anything like me, you tend to lean more towards a specific type of weapon. Whether that be power weapons, smart weapons, or tech weapons, playstyle and character build have a huge impact on the effectiveness of your weapons. While we're not going to go into builds in this video, I wanted to put together a quick reference guide for the locations of all the weapons for each type, specifically the smart ones. What's up guys, thank you for tuning in to Ice TV. my name is Philip Price and today we're showing you how to get every smart legendary and iconic weapon in Cyberpunk 2077. If you guys find this video or any of my videos helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe, doing so helps the channel to grow. In Cyberpunk 2077, there are three different classes of guns, power, tech, and smart. There are also nine different types of guns, revolvers, pistols, assault rifles, precision rifles, sniper rifles, shotguns, double barrel shotguns, SMGs, and LMGs. So far, I've been able to find eight legendary or iconic smart weapons. The first three in this list can be found during main story missions, so I will do my best to avoid spoilers as they are pretty deep in the story. I've also put timestamps in the description if you rather just skip past these first three which are named Prototype Shingen Mark V, Genjiro, and Ba Xing Chong. I will be listing these three in chronological order for simplicity's sake, and yes, all eight of these smart weapons are missable. The Prototype Shingen Mark V is a smart SMG variant of the TKI-20 Shingen. It fires explosive rounds and target locks up to three enemies while aiming. This gun can be found during the Gimme Danger main story mission where V has to infiltrate the warehouse with all the parade floats. It can be located inside the shipping container 667 in the loading bay area of the warehouse. The Genjiro is a smart pistol variant of the HJKE-11 Yukimura. It fires four rounds per shot, has an increased clip size, increased bullet speed, and can target up to six enemies simultaneously. Bullets also deal additional electrical damage and has the chance to apply the shock status. The Genjiro is very easy to find, but also very easy to miss. During the Play It Safe main story mission, where you have to take out three snipers during the parade, after you take out the first sniper, this gun can be found behind a closed door on the way to the second sniper. The door in question can be found on the right as you walk out of the elevator before you get to the ladder on floor 21. You can either enter the door by passing a tech ability check or by using the terminal nearby using the code 2906. The Ba Jing Chong is a smart shotgun that is a variant of the L69 Zul. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Let me know in the comments below if that's not the right way to pronounce that. The biggest difference between the two is that, like the prototype Shingen Mark V, the Ba Jing Chong also fires explosive rounds. Now, this is one of the more difficult smart weapons to get as you basically need to beat the game and you have to have the Edge Runner Artisan perk under the crafting tree because you don't actually find this weapon, you find the crafting spec for it. It's gonna be pretty much impossible to get into this one without any spoilers, so here's your chance to skip ahead. All right, you've been warned. During the chipping in side job, when you reach the ship, there is a secured room on the far end of it. By the way, if you choose not to kill Grayson during this mission, in exchange, he'll give you a key that will unlock a shipping container. This is your one and only chance to get Johnny's Porsche. Anyway, back to the secured room on the other end of the ship. You can hack the door panel to get the door open, and inside will be a bunch of guns. But the legendary crafting spec you're looking for is in this container on the floor. The only way you can open this container is if you looted the access key off the final boss in the game, Adam Smasher. And yes, 
You do have to go past the point of no return in order to get here, but that's okay because after you roll the credits, you get the option to come back to Night City starting at the point of no return. After you roll the credits and go back to Night City with the access card, head back to that ship, enter Atom Smasher's secured room, and retrieve the lovely legendary crafting spec. The Divided We Stand is a smart assault rifle variant of the D5 Sidewinder. This bad boy can target up to five different enemies simultaneously and also deals chemical damage with the chance to apply poison. This weapon is easy to find but can be a real challenge depending on your level, build, and which method you want to use to obtain it. Long story short, you can get this gun by completing the Stadium Love side job in which you must win the shooting competition at the 6th Street Block Party. This competition is crazy hard, especially if you don't have any perks in the pistol perk tree. Say that five times fast. Alternatively, you can just kill all the Sixers at the party and loot the gun off of their leader. The choice is yours. Skippy is another smart pistol variant of the HJKE-11 Yukimura. This guy is one of the most unique iconic weapons in all of Cyberpunk 2077 because, as far as I've seen, it is the only weapon that upgrades with V as they level up, and the gun also has a personality. You'll see. Bum, bum, be dumb. What, what are you doing? I'm making the wait more pleasant with a soothing melody. Bum, bum, be dum, bum, bum, be dum, bum. You get this gun simply by finding it on a body located in Vista del Rey. Doing so also starts the side job machine gun, which for one reason or another doesn't show in your journal. I'm not sure if this is a bug that I encountered or if this is by design. Either way, Long story short, Skippy has an autonomous AI that will ask you to choose between two of its firing methods, Stone Cold Killer, which focuses on headshots, or Puppy Loving Pacifist, which aims at the legs instead. After you make this choice, Skippy needs you to take down 50 enemies to help him calibrate. Once properly calibrated, Skippy will start another conversation and automatically switch to the other firing mode, unless you chose Puppy Loving Pacifist, that is. If you chose the pacifist mode, V can convince Skippy that killing is wrong, at which point Skippy will stay in the pacifist mode. After two in-game days, Skippy will start another dialogue where he mentions that he has located his previous owner, a fixer that we know and love by the name of Regina Jones. You can choose to return Skippy to Regina to complete the machine gun quest and get a decent payout, or you can just keep Skippy for yourself. Don't think so. You're mine now. Find his keepers. Increasing volume by 300%. Take me back to my owner! Yell all you want. Bad user! Bad user! The Ying Long is a smart SMG variant of the G58 Dion that deals high electrical damage. In order to get this one, you do also need to have the Edge Runner Artisan perk under the crafting tree because, like the Ba Xing Chong, you don't actually find this weapon, you find the crafting spec for it. This crafting spec is fairly easy to get, well, depending on your level and build since it drops from the leader of a suspected organized crime activity in Well Springs, located here. Simply roll through and either kill or pacify everyone in whatever means you wish, then simply loot this crafting spec from the leader. You can also find the legendary crafting spec for the G58 Dion by looting the leader of the suspected organized crime activity located in Vista del Rey near the skylined east fast travel point. Now, while not an iconic weapon, the legendary Ashura is a smart sniper rifle whose crafting spec can be found by looting the leader of the suspected organized crime activity right here. Now, this guy is a little tougher to get to because he's standing on the rafters above everyone, and since I didn't have any mobility cyberware installed at the time, I had to figure out how to get up there the way the devs meant it. So, if you go over to this scaffolding, you can get inside it and climb your way up. This is a bit tricky because you have to crouch while walking inside it, and when you're under the opening to the next level, stand, then jump in order to grab onto and pull yourself up to the next level. Lather, 
rinse, and repeat until you get to the top and loot the crafting spec for the legendary smart sniper rifle, Ashura. And that's it! Again guys, this is not a definitive list of every legendary slash iconic smart weapon in the game, Ju these are just the ones I've found so far. So if you have found any legendary smart weapon crafting specs or any iconic smart weapons that I haven't listed here, make sure to let us know in the comments below. And until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and stay tuned to ICE TV. The time has come for a close encounter of the third kind. A small step for V, but a giant leap for humankind. Who are you betting on showing up? The reptilians or techno-necromancers? Spanish Inquisition. I admit, I didn't expect that.